Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of my solo skyblock adventures. As you can see, all my minions are full, even though I have been collecting them. I don't want to do too much off recording, but since these minions are such low level, I had to collect them few times. And I obviously just used the materials to upgrade them. My iron minion is still level 1 though. I did manage to craft an auto smelter for it, but most of the iron is still ore. I will be able to level it up after it's done smelting though. There we go, level 2. Yesterday we didn't do much, it was just me unlocking Bazaar. But today, today we are gonna sweat. So obviously we are gonna start off with Bazaar flipping. Damn, I got 236 coins from interest. Massive profit. Believe it or not, but I actually do read my comments. And there were multiple people telling me to buy back dice. It seems to be 9 coins each. Let's go see how much it is in Bazaar. Okay, that's insane profit. I'm gonna like triple my money. There we go, I hit the daily limit. I'm just gonna sell it for 32. It's still really good profit, and I should be able to get my money back faster. So I paid 9 coins for each, and I'm gonna get 32. Absolute stonks. But that's not even all you guys told me to buy. It sells normal ice for 1 coin each. Also, both of the mushrooms are still profit. Oh no, we ran out of money. I should have bought the red mushrooms first, they are more profit. I paid one coin for each ice. I'm just gonna sell it for 3.7 so I can sell it instantly. I need some money so I can buy more items. We still tripled our money. Okay, so the back dice is almost finished. And then the ice obviously filled instantly because I sold it for 3.6. So now we have 18k. I'm just gonna sell the mushrooms for 13. It's not much profit, but it's still some profit. We are at 25k now. Now I can buy the red mushrooms. I sold them for 19.5 yesterday, but I think I'm gonna sell them for just 19 today. Now we just have to wait that they fill. And of course we can't forget the bones. I think that's enough bazaar for today. There are so many things I want to do today, but my biggest problem right now are these minions that I have. They are not that good and they fill up too fast. So for example, when I sleep, they don't do anything for like six hours because they are just full. And obviously I can't collect them when I'm sleeping. Since super compactors are not really an option yet, for obvious reasons, I think I'm gonna fix this problem by getting slower minions and minion storages. But before we do any of that, we have to unlock more minion slots. And the fastest way to do that is to unlock multiple unique minions instead of just leveling up one or two. So I'm gonna unlock as many new minions as I can and then level them up by using Bazaar. And to make that faster, I have to get better tools. So I'm gonna get two sticks from here and make a diamond pickaxe. And then we have to enchant it. So I have to buy some books from the librarian. Okay, so one stack is 1.3k. I think that's gonna be enough for now. I'm just gonna buy more if I have to. Now we just have to craft the enchanting table. One, two, three, four. Nice. We already have the diamonds because we have the diamond minion. And there we go. I'm just gonna make my enchanting area down here. So we can get fortune from this one. 36 levels though. Let's go see how much the experience bottles cost. I can buy a stack for 2k. I think it's worth it. It's gonna make everything so much faster. And I made so much profit from the ice that it doesn't really matter that much. Can I get fortune for cheaper than 36? Maybe we can get fortune 3 with 33. There's fortune with 34. Thank you very much. And we didn't get efficiency. I'm just gonna buy two efficiency one books. They're only 20 coins each, so it's not that much. I don't need my own anvil. I can just use the blacksmith one. So now we have efficiency two, fortune three smelting. That's one big axe. Let's go to deep caverns and unlock some new minions. Oh yeah, I should have gotten telekinesis for this. I can get the 100 coins by just selling my carrots and the book selves as well. I guess we will start with the gold. And let's be careful that we don't die to those creepers. Actually, might as well unlock gunpowder. I'm dealing 27 damage. That is kind of sad. This pickaxe is so much better than the one I had before. No! Okay, well, that works. And there we go. Next up, we're gonna get the lapis one. With the fortune, it shouldn't take too long. That was so fast. I could farm these for the lapis armor, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. This should be safe area to mine redstone. The fortune tree really helps out here. I'm also gaining some experience, so I can enchant the golden axe when I'm done with this. I don't know how people keep dying in deep caverns. It's so easy to survive. I don't even have any armor. 
Although that Pikmin is really angry at me for some reason. I didn't even do anything. Oh, I already unlocked the small accessory bag. Well, I can put my farming talisman in there. <laughs> that is kind of cute. Let's see how much I need for the level two. Ooh, 5,000? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't even have any talismans. I only have one. But I think we do have enough redstone now for the minion. Yeah, it's four stacks as well. Oh, it wasn't even four stacks. It's less than the lapis minion. We have three minions now. Now we need the emerald one. It sucks that there's a guy here because this is the best spot to mine emeralds. Maybe I can just go here. I don't see any slimes around. Oh god. Oh god, I messed up, I think. Okay, they don't one-hit kill me, but that was close. These guys are easy. Combat level one, let's go. I can go to spiders then now. Deep caverns is a scary place when you don't have any armor and you only have 100 health. Four minions done. Now it's time for the hardest one. I have to somehow unlock obsidian. All of these guys can one-hit me, so... Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I don't want to lose my 763 coins, but I think it might happen. I really hate this place. I think I'm going to go through the diamond mine. Like so. Please don't one hit me, skeleton. I think I might be dead. No, it missed. There's obsidian right there. I can't kill these zombies. Oh, somebody else killed it. Oh, yeah, this is going to take forever. I'm going to go here and hopefully not die. There we go. One obsidian. We also got 100 mining experience for that. No. Why are you standing there, Mr. Lapis guy? There's our second obsidian. I'm just hugging this wall and hoping for the best. And I died. How much do I need for the minion? Ooh, I need 50. I might need a better pickaxe. My adorable efficiency too might not be enough. Nice. This is like Walking Dead, but worse. Just kidding, nothing can be worse than that. This guy really wants to give me that diamond block, but I don't want that. Fine, I'm just gonna run through this then. I want to die. Hey, combat level two. One more and I'm out. Actually, I'm gonna take that diamond block before I go. Okay, it's time to leave. That was by far the hardest thing I have ever done on Skyblock. Efficiency 2 wasn't the play, but it's done. And hey, I got some diamonds as well. Now, we are gonna put all the trash away, collect the money from the bazaar, and let's buy some obsidian. Actually, let's just buy 160 so we can make three minions. One, two, and three obsidian minions. Now we can pick up this guy. I think I can level it up actually. Yeah, I might have enough. Okay, yeah, I have eight enchanted carrots, so I can level him up and then I can pick him up. Let's place these obsidian minions. Oh, I have to pick up the wheat minion as well. These guys are pretty slow. As you can see, time between actions is 45 seconds compared to like coal minion, which only has 13 seconds. Obviously it's level four, but even as level one, it's still faster than the obsidian minion. But it's a good thing because now it takes longer before my minions are full. We do have to craft them some storage though, because that one slot they have as level one is not gonna be enough. And small storage is basically free. Now it takes a bit longer before they are full. So now that we unlocked all the mining minions from deep caverns, we are gonna move on to the foraging ones. I'm also gonna buy some fuel for the obsidian minions. So I'm just gonna buy enchanted coal. I could buy the enchanted charcoal, but I don't think I wanna waste that much money. So I'm just gonna buy three of these and be happy with it. And I'm just gonna give it to these guys. I'm just gonna use the levels I got from deep caverns on my golden axe. Turns out that I need 34 levels for efficiency 5, so I'm just gonna go back to deep caverns and mine some lapis. Oh god, I just realized I have all my money on me, so I can't die right now. I knew that this would happen. Okay, I got the levels. Let's get out of here. And let's go put the money in the bank. That could have ended badly. It's time to enchant the golden axe. This is gonna be my best money-making method for early game. There we go. Nice. Enchanting five as well. Hello, Rusty. Just give me telekinesis and I will leave you alone. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to do business with you. We will most likely need some money for this next step. So let's take like 5k out and then make our way over here. Uh, buy one enchanted redstone, one enchanted glowstone, and then one cane as well. Hello, alchemist. Sell me some water bottles, two proving stands, and then two nether wards. And that should be enough for now. I don't think you have to unlock anything for potions, but we will find out. Oh, it seems to be working. And then sugar for the speed potions. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have to unlock the cane collection. This thing is so good for foraging, but it, it's gonna take a while until I have collected 25k obsidian. Now I have haste for like 50 minutes. It's time to go grind. Let's see how much speed I actually gain from this. 
Okay, that's pretty much nothing. I'm actually gonna get some oak so I can make those medium storages for my obsidian minions. Yeah, I don't think the speed one potions were that good. I should have made better speed potions, but it's too late now. I'm gonna be back when I have enough oak for the storages. My first level 10 skill, let's go. You know, I could pick up that fairy cell, but I'm gonna postpone that for as long as I can. One... And two, I could have leveled up my oak minion. I think these are gonna be better because now these guys are not gonna be full when I come back tomorrow. I still need one for him, but I'm not sure. I might do that later. Is there any oak on this guy? I have some oak here as well. I could use this for another medium storage, but I think I'm gonna upgrade this guy. I'm just gonna spend my last three minutes of this potion getting oak. Okay, so my potion ran out, but I was able to get enough oak for the last medium storage. So all of them have medium storages now. I'm gonna make better speed potions. These might actually do something. Let's try to get an XP boost potion. Ooh, okay, so... The gifts are actually quite expensive. That is a good money-making method for early game. When is the next event? Ah, oh, it's in three days. There's also a spooky festival in like two days. I might be able to get ready for it. I just don't have any combat gear yet. Look how easy it would be if I could just buy an armor set from the auction house. But we don't do that here. We earn everything ourselves. That being said, it is time to grind foraging for like the next 30 minutes. I should be able to get like 25 unique minions. Okay, we are here. May the grind begin. Okay, let's craft the minion and level it up a few times. Oh yeah, I need a wooden axe, I think. So there's level one. Level 2, level 3, and then I need enchanted birds, but I can't make it yet. Level 4, and then level 5. Next, we are gonna get the spruce minion level 5. Dark oak. Oh, damn, foraging level 15 already. And lastly, jungle. Now that I got all the minions out of the way, I'm just gonna go farm spruce for the last five minutes of my potions. Let's see how much money I can make in five minutes. Can I get my foraging to level 16 before I run out of potions? I don't think I can, I only have 20 seconds left. I just have to believe. So close! I'm still gonna get the level even though I run out of the potions. It's only 500 experience, shouldn't take that long. Easy foraging 16. 17.6k in 5 minutes. Pretty good for early game. How much money do I have in total now? 52k. Not too shabby. I think I'm gonna go place down these minions. So now I have 3 obsidian minions, 1 oak minion, 1 jungle minion, 1 acacia minion, 1 coal, 1 cobblestone, and 1 diamond. Which is obviously pretty good, but I think I'm gonna go to the mushroom desert and unlock a few more minions. Cane, cocoa beans, rabbit, sheep, Mushrooms. Oh yeah, I have a silk touch on my axe, so I can't use it for the mushrooms. Well, I'm gonna get cactus instead. So I need 2.5k cactus for the desert island, and from the desert island I unlock sand, but it's gonna take a while. Okay, that's the last minion. Now I can just upgrade them with bazaar. Wait, the mushroom blocks are 1.7k? That's actually really good money, because it took me like 5 seconds to get them. Okay, so I need to buy some cocoa beans, cactus, and cane. Level 1, level 2, level... I need more. There we go, cactus level 1. Then we are gonna collect the cactus from here. Level 2, cactus level 3. Okay, level 4 cocoa bean minion, and I unlocked my 10th minion slot. That is all I wanted. Let's put the minions here where they belong. And let's also buy the undead sword so we can get some combat pets in the next episode. I'm not sure what armor I want, but I'm gonna figure out something. I don't think I want to leave the cobblestone minion overnight, because it's gonna be full so fast. So I think I'm gonna place one of the three minions down. It's gonna be full as well, but at least it's gonna have more resources, because it's higher level. I think I'm gonna go to sleep now, but let's check how many locks I collected before I go. 7.6, 5.3, 2.5, 2.8, 2.4, and 2.4. Not too bad. I did a decent amount of grinding in this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.